Hello again, and welcome back to Medieval 2. So we finally saved Kia from the Ripper after using the time machine to go back and alternate the event that happened, as well as meeting my other self to form this new armor that I'm wearing right now. So now we're going to go into the final mission to stop Palethorn once and for all. And of course that I never thought of, the Moloks, I didn't meet them because they're not mad at me because I've already alternate time and went back. But we're not going to go any further, so let's just get on with this mission. And I also have not collected one chalice because there's a strange reason for that. But right now we have to go to the cathedral spire. Well, you seem to know more about this place than I do, so there's no point in briefing you, is there? Nope, not exactly. So we're going to go into the cathedral spire to take care of things once and for all and save London. And before we do that, make sure to leave a like if there's anything you find interest. Comment down below and subscribe. And press the notification bell if you want to be notified. As well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So with that out of the way, on with the mission. So now we're in the cathedral. I believe that's Palethorn's hideout. I'm not sure. But this is the final mission, so I'm sure that this is going to be pretty challenging in some ways. Oh, and there's one of those gargoyle things from the previous game. And yes, I went back to collect a few things, especially health and all that. But enough said, let's go see what Winston had to say for this. Imprisoned within are a number of souls. The cathedral seems to be drawing its demonic power from them. Free them, and we might stand a chance. If you see the spiv, you might want to charge up your super armor. Yes. Let me just get my armor. Shield, actually. Oh yes, I almost forgot that I have a new weapon, the Gatling Gun. Yeah, so even though I don't have all the chalices, there's a reason for that. It might have something to do with the ending. It's a very odd, glitchy ending, but yeah, I'm just going to show you when I beat it. And there's one of the Lost Souls. So get it and collect how much? At least 12 lost souls and one, 11 is just remaining. Let's see. And one of the gargoyles is out. And as you can see, based on my armor I'm wearing, you can have more armor protection instead of taking any hits and let me just use my my rifle and let me just change that with the hold up fire I'm sure the magic sword is much stronger than that There's this lava thing, so be careful. There's one of the gargoyles. Got it. I just take my time with this. Wait for it. And I 
can't jump because otherwise I'll just fall off. There we go. There's yet another gargoyle. I'm pronouncing that wrong. <clears throat> Just taking my sweet time until this flame wears off. Hmm. Missed that time. Alright, not. There's another lost soul. Alright, let's see. Gotta go to one of these doors to see if there's any lost souls. That's no, right. Of course is the trap. Okay, that's enough for you guys. There we go. Thank you. You know what, I have the um, Gatling gun. Let me see what that does. Hmm. It's kind of powerful, but I'm not going to waste that. Let me switch it to... Let's see. This again. And I believe there's more gargoyles. Let me go in here. And there's a spiff. Let's see. Nine, wrong one. Oh, that fall. What about my armor? Eh, there we go. I'll be back soon for the health. Let me see what's up in this area. Hmm, nothing. And looks like I need five angels or lost soul to get through here. And when did you know it? There it is down below. That was the wrong move. Let me try this again. There it is. Just seven remains. You know what, I'm going back and 
trying to regenerate my health before I prepare myself with Pale Thorn. Sorry, I messed up on something. But we've already gotten the door open, so let's go in. All right, then, you've come. No, I don't have time for you, Winston. All right, Don, you come a long way. I say about you. You're so annoying. That's what you sound like. Okay. Anyway, so far so good. Horse. Just for that matter, at least. No sign of Pale Thorn. So let's just try this again. guys come on don't have your shield now do you Former to go. Oh, great. Well, at least they're easier. Easy as pie. Let me see if there's anything around. Nope. Okay, so. Time to go to the other side. So it looks like I can't jump over there. I gotta jump in one of these platforms. That's moving around. Pretty slowly. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Take my time. Okay. Of course, there are gargoyles right there. And I missed my moment destroying them, so... Yeah. Well, that's right, I still have my lightning. Let's see what that does. Wait 
for that right moment. That's one. That's two, and I'm pretty sure there's more of them. Nice and careful. Otherwise, I'm just going to start over again. That's right, you better come back. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay. Uh, Alright, that was a close one. Close call. This one and somewhere in the next room. All right, the last one. Hopefully that it's right behind this door. Spiffy, let's see what you got. Looks like I'm good for now with them. Um, Gadling. Oh, that's right, I still have my rifle. This thing. Is this the right way? Uh, nope, I don't think so. Where am I supposed to go then? Maybe I have to go up. Let me see. Oh, there it is. What is that? Made it. Golden cog. Cog for what? Well, whatever. I already wasted a bottle anyway. So let's see where I have to go. Hmm. Wait. Oh, there's a secret passage over there I didn't see. And there is the last angel. Wait for it. No. That was a good time. Hmm, I guess the gargoyles aren't too tired. Oh, now you're gonna do it. Last moment. Ooh, okay, that's pretty too much. Okay, that's getting pretty hectic. One more, where are you? There you are. Okay, that was pretty interesting. Uh, where do I go? This way? Okay, that way. Wrong way. That way. Oh, lucky me. 
more of this fountain. What can I do without you? Let's see, what's this for? Nothing. Okay, so this is new. Where am I supposed to put this cog? Hold on. I'm guessing that I had to put something in the cog. Let me see. Had something to do with this? Well, let me see. I should go. I wonder if I can put this in one of the thing. Okay, I can. Let's see what this does. Oh, there's a door. I didn't see that. Let's see. Hold up. Oh, there it is. Okay. Come over here, you. Let me get that out of my head. And there's another one. Is this basically going to be one of those things? I only have one cog, so let me see if I can find another one around. Actually, let me just press one more. Hmm. You know what, let me try something. Let me just go over here for a moment to see. Try to go back into that room. Okay, that was pretty weird. Let me put my whole body, my head in this thing. Just to be sure if there's any holes. I don't see it. Oh, okay. I just, there was a hole. Let me, let me see where that cog is. Can't tell the difference between a cog or a gear. And I have to go over that area. Cog has something with more than one hole in the center. Okay, so I made it. Let's see. Now I can go back. Hold on, actually, no, I can. Let me go to this direction where my body is. Hippity hop. Excuse me. Okay, and see if I can put that other room someplace. Move that thing. Yeah, I really cannot speak today. I'm just turning that around what I'm trying to say and see if I can put that other 
cog into the gears. Okay, where's that other hand that I need? Or I can just go down. I'm really losing it. And put this here. Okay, so now what? Let's try something. I'm guessing that this is going to take a while to figure out. See any switch and oh, I see it. There it is. Just one more. Hopefully, that'll work. Now let's see what's inside this room. Lies ahead. Angels? found the last spell page from Xerox book and I'm gonna have to get out of here guys I don't have time to talk <laughs> gotta make it quick because this whole place is gonna explode <laughs> gotta make it quick I really don't like this stupid avalanche thing Come on, come on. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Ah! Oh, man. Come on, come on. Six. Five, four, three, two, made it. And that takes care of the cathedral and somehow all the evil. So looks like I've managed to make it safe and sound. So let's see what's going on. The last remaining place of the cathedral lies here. All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I... Dan, you're alive! I thought you'd been crushed in the wreckage. I'm going to tell the prophet Kia what's going on. I don't know what's around the next corner, so if you see the spiv, I'd stock up on ammo. From this point, you're on your own, Dan. Good luck. Hmm. So basically, that's kind of similar to what the gargoyle said to me when I was facing Zarok. Well, looks like I'm going to have to um, try something. No? Okay, so... Not right now, but... Let's just see what lurks into this other room. Oh, I guess there's nothing. 
there's the spiff. Alright, spiffy, let's see what you got. Nope. Let me try one more time. Thank you very much. And it was nice seeing you, so wish me luck. Because looks like this area is a boss arena place. Oh boy. I'll take that, thank you. You never give up, do you, Dan? I knew you'd find the last page of Zarek's spellbook for me. You should have joined me. We would have made a great team. Instead, I got lumbered with these two. But, Master, I... Silence. Think about it, Daniel. An eternity by my side. Why, with my powers, I could put flesh onto your bones as easy as pie. I'll never join you! What was that? Could you mumble that again? No? Oh well. You two can redeem yourselves. Kid for the spell page. Okay, so this is the oh, half of the final boss fight. Let me see if I can try to whack him with the sword. Of course. Oh, actually, you know what? I have this. Let me see if this lightning can take care of these guys. Of course, unfortunately, one of them seems to be blocking it. Try my trusty Gatling gun. See if that works out well. No. Where are you? Basically, it won't do nothing with this Dogman character. Okay, so basic. Alright, in my case, he's more of a melee type thing. If only I can stop getting closer to him. Damn it. Let's try something different. Let's roast me some puppies. Nope. Okay, that looks like I'm done with the dog man, so let's try Snake Boy. One more time, well, let me see if I can do it one more time. And that takes care of Palethorn's henchmen. And good riddance too. So now where I have to go. Uh, oh, right there. Hail Thorn, where are you? And where's my last page you took from me? Oh, you've killed my beloved servants. How tragic. How achingly predictable. Well, Daniel, it's been fun, but 
Now I'm afraid the game is over, and it's time for you to die. And we have ourselves the final boss. The Wing Demon. Alright, so in this part, you can't kill the um, demon. You just have to dodge his attack. But, the only target you have to focus on is Pale Thorn. So try shooting him as much as you can with the Gatling Gun or something powerful. And he shoots Fireball, this guy. And dodge this attack as much as you can. And it doesn't matter how much you hit the demon. It won't hurt him. There we go. And already you were just pale thorns already injured. I keep getting that messed up. So when the camera shows this area, you have to shoot pale thorn as much as you can. At least I hit him. That was a close one. I should have got out of the way. I believe one more will take care of this. There he is. Okay, this, in this part now, he's going to be more hard, difficult. He's just going to keep shooting missiles real too many times. Looks like that's done. Well, I suppose a decent thing would be to admit defeat. But I ain't a decent man. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. It's funny. 
All my life, all I wanted was a little respect. And world domination, of course. For people to notice. Well, they'll notice this. And it's a bomb. And there's the professor and Kia. You know what? They kind of look like Jack Skeleton and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. And that concludes Medieval 2. It's not as big as the first game, but it's similar to that. The only downside, however, is some of the camera angle, clunky control, and sometimes the loading time from rooms you enter comes slower. And it's kind of a short le game if you play it in a certain angle. Yeah. So that concludes the gameplay of Medieval 2, and thank you for watching my video as well. And like always, make sure you leave a like, thumbs up in other words, comment down below, and subscribe. And until then, I will see you again in the next program. I mean, not program, but project. Also a side note, that the reason why I didn't collect some of the chalice is because of the good ending and the bad ending. So basically if you collect the all the chalice and all that, you get the bad ending. Well if you collect nothing, you just get the good ending. It's pretty random if you think about it. So again, thank you for watching my video and stay safe.